1924, India was still under the colonial rule. A young scientist from Bengal, Professor Satyendranath Bose came up with a path-breaking work on quantum statistics. He sent it to one of the greatest scientists that the world has ever seen, Albert Einstein. Realizing the immense importance of his work, Einstein translated it to German and got it published in the highly reputed journal Z Physik under Satyendranath Bose's name. The theory became one of the most important foundations in quantum physics and modern atomic theory. Later, Einstein extended the idea, which led to the theory of Bose-Einstein condensate an unprecedented achievement in the universe of physics till date. Nearly half of the fundamental particles in the universe are named after Satyendranath Bose, which is scientifically known as bosons. 62 years later, in 1986, the Government of India under the Department of Science and Technology dedicated a research institute to the country to honour the life and work of Professor S. N. Bose. Located in Kolkata, in a lush green 15-acre campus, today the Satyendranath Bose National Centre for Basic Sciences has established itself as a major research institute in selected areas of physical and chemical sciences including condensed matter physics and material sciences, chemical, biological and macromolecular sciences, astrophysics and cosmology and theoretical sciences. We do kind of interdisciplinary research. There are a lot of collaborations between the department. Uh, but if you try to say that over the last three and a half decade, the areas which we have contributed is in the areas of, in general, computational material science, Defined kind of advanced materials including soft materials, biomaterials, nanomaterials. We have done a lot of work in quantum science and technology, both theory and the experiment. In the theoretical side, we have done some basics of quantum physics and foundation of quantum physics, and then their application for quantum information, entanglement, quantum teleportations. On the experiment side, we are trying to make the devices based on the quantum materials on the spin-based devices, as well as the devices based on two-dimensional materials and topological materials. In the theoretical sciences, also we are doing the work of some, some pioneering work on gravitational uh, quantum field theory and gravitational physics. And also in the department of astrophysics, we do theoretical and observational astrophysics work. The institution embodies the true spirit of the scientific temperament and curiosity of Professor S. N. Bose. It has technologically advanced laboratories which are equipped with modern equipments and research facilities where scientists conduct their research on various subjects and carry out advanced level experiments. In the Chemical, Biological and Macromolecular Sciences Department, research is done on chemistry, biology and different molecular species. Dr. Manik Pradhan is busy conducting experiments with his students on quantum weak measurements for the measurement of the optical beam shift. For the first time in India, he, along with his students, has developed quantum weak measurement technique which measures the tiny deviation of optical beam. It aims to prove that the general law of reflection and refraction are not exactly valid in all conditions. This technique can be applied to measure the layer numbers, thickness and refractive index of a material and has multiple application in the fields of physics, chemistry and biology. Most importantly, it can be used for designing biosensors. The laboratory has developed a device by the name of PyroBreath, which can detect various gastric disorders and stomach infection of a person by simply testing the exhaled breath of the person. It is a non-invasive technology where the painful method of endoscopy and bioscopy can be avoided.
the device is already working in the hospital environment and the three uh, startup companies they have already shown their interest so hopefully uh, the technology will be transferred to the uh, to those companies for the commercialization purposes Besides this, the chemical, biological and macromolecular sciences are also conducting high-end research and experiments using laser spectroscopy in the field of biomedical diagnostics and environmental science. It uses laser to probe and understand various molecular properties. One such application is the study of the human cells and its reaction to a drug. It also helps to study the drug molecules and how it impacts the human cells. At the Condensed Matter Physics and Material Sciences Department of S. N. Bose Institute, Professor Anjan Barman, along with his students, is conducting various researches to develop such devices using spin wave technology. It is an alternative technology to the present-day semiconductors. for processing digital information in devices the department has developed a setup or device called vrilovin light scattering spectroscopy which can measure the properties of spin wave along with its propagation it also helps in determining the interatomic potential of a material along with measuring the elastic and inelastic properties of a material the lab has also developed a setup called the time resolved magneto optical kerr effect microscope tr moog to study the ultra fast spin wave dynamics of nanoscale ferromagnetic systems This is a non-invasive device where the magnetic state of the sample can be measured without touching it. Our goal is to apply the spin waves for signal propagation on chip. That means we try to, not only we try to store and read the data in a magnetic material but we also try to communicate between various parts of a computer by using spin waves. with 263 publications with an average impact of 3.6 in the year 2019 it is now among the top 3 dst institutes of the country as per the nature index ranking based on the quality of publications in the human resource development area the institute has been building scientific manpower through sustainable academic programs with a core strength of 30 regular faculty members and with the support of emeritus faculty the center trains around 160 doctoral students 20 integrated msc phd students along with 30 post doctoral researchers more than 20 specialized semester courses are offered each year the center has completed supervision of 275 phd's and about 30% of them have joined as faculty or researcher in leading universities and research institutes of india and abroad one of the important mandates of the institute is science outreach and scientific enrichment To fulfill that the new Bose archive and museum was open for the public on the 127th birth anniversary of Bose in presence of his family members Owing to the success of its work in various fields of research the institute has undertaken a significant project Technical Research Center also known as TRC with an aim to work on application based research on the lines of national health mission and make an in india program of the government of india the research output is transferred for the betterment of the society at large the prestigious project is funded by the department of science and technology government of india the center has already transferred technologies which are being used in the market one among them is ajo NEO it is a device which can measure three parameters at one go 
anemia, jaundice and oxygen saturation in the newborn babies as well as adults without touching the body. There are other significant devices which are indigenously developed by the Technical Research Center of the Institute, namely FEFLU, which is a spectroscopy-based fluoride sensor used to detect the quantity of fluoride in drinking water, which is harmful to human bones, teeth and other organs. Non-invasive urinary bladder cancer detection device Another device which can measure the brain wave of a human being to detect various neurological and psychiatric problems. Long-lasting nano-sanitizer developed during the COVID which provides antimicrobial effect for long time after the application. The basic mandate uh, of this center uh, is to develop technology which will have a direct implication uh, to the people of my country. And it is in the line of our Honorable Prime Minister uh, who said uh, it is uh, Make in India. Make in India is a mission and uh, TRC is definitely is an important instrument uh, which will uh, contribute uh, to that mission. Standing tall in the arena of scientific research and development, the Essen Bose National Center for Basic Sciences is immensely contributing towards building the dream of a new India. An India where science would play a major role for the upliftment of its billion plus countrymen, making them the citizens of a self-reliant nation.